Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing another exciting adventure of the Legends of Isenwald. And so I wandered around the tower and I was, and I uh, got to this point where a converse, dialogue popped up. So, so as I remember, it is necessary to look at the tower, then look slowly lower and lower. That's right. The entrance has been hidden so well, it is seen only at the angle. There, in the hollow between two rocks. Between the great stone and the rock upon which the tower stands is where the entrance, entrance lies. Okay, see, and there's Bert Hold over here. And I noticed um, that one castle that we were friends with the people anyway. Um, there's that kites. But anyway, he's stuck at the bridge. Yay! Sorry, Bert Hold. Okay, so somewhere is the entrance. So the tower. So where is the entrance? Ah, there. I think maybe I got it. Did I or not? No, 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 no. He's still at the bridge. Okay. Oh, man. All right, so oh, no, 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 no. I'm over here, and I need to be. So the Swallow Tower. I feel like I'm not. I'm just going around and. Oh, here it is. It is a bit narrow. Will we squeeze inside? We will. If there is a need, I will squeeze into Bishop Otto's, Otto's throat for Edlin. That image is unsettling. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay. So, oh, there we go. We found it. Okay. Hmm. Hey, who is squeezing inside? The monks have ordered us to guard the girl, so squeeze the hell back, whoever you are. He's a bandit. Well, these monks are quite pious dealing with bandits. This bishop and the whole dialis dia 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 are the are the snare. Hey, thugs! I hope you have already confessed your sins to these to those monks of yours. Well, there goes all hope of a stealthy entrance. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we got an archer. Let's get them out. Oh, by the way, yep, there you go. And let's see, can we put this on him? Yeah. Don't kill him, please! Yeah, he's dead. Darn it. Oh, nice. Nice. Um. You gonna surrender? Yep, you did. And we got some stuff. Adeline, at last, I had thought I would never see you again. And I hoped that I wouldn't be, and I hoped that I wouldn't, but now my hopes have been dashed. Don't touch me, you rake. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I hoped that I wouldn't, but now my hopes have been dashed. Don't touch me, you rake, rapist, and now murderer. <laughs> Look, Corinne, those fanatics have already managed to fool her. Hmm. Fool me, I'd be better off in the monastery, or prison, or even dead than with you. Oh, I should have jumped down from this tower like Jinpa to escape the, the executioner. That's enough. Shut your mouth, you stupid whore. We will return to my land, and then we talk. Oh, my God. Such a very happy couple. I'm so glad they are together, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. 
God. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Jesus. The shit that happens in this... <laughs> it's a story. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I don't want you with me now. Okay. <sighs> so you can wear this now. You wear this now. You are done. Gotta get rid of you. You may fall over, so you're gonna be over there, though you're injured too. Um, I don't know if I want you with me, to be quite honest, but for now, um, three. Oops, sorry, that works better for you. This works better for you. Um, this is 35 health, that's gotta go to you. Um, yeah, you can use this. And give you the Amlin of Initiative. Oh my goodness. Anyone else that leveled up? So these two, he's only got one more chance left and he's gone and then I'm gonna be with, stuck without anybody! No, I wanna get out of here. I must thank you, Corinne, but now let's hurry to the outpost. I have been out for too long now. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to the... Oh, okay. Where was the outpost again? I can't remember. I know the hermits. Okay, there we go. Just click and maybe we'll find our way out of here. Oh, he hasn't made his way up here yet, thank God. We are going to part here, Corinne. I wish you had told me this. Shut up, woman. Corinne, doubt not that I will make efforts to delay those who pursue you. My dear Edlin and I are deeply grateful to you, and I hope you are going to be as happy as we are. Farewell. <laughs> really? So now I'm down to two. Oh, did he give me back my armor? That I gave him? I think he did. He can wear this one. Yeah, he did. He gave it back to me. Oh, I need to hire some more people. Another mine. Marketplace. See, I got to get up, clear up over there. I'm, I'm slowly getting there. I'll pose a fairy man. There's a fairy man, but I. Is there anything else here I need to investigate? Hmm. Blacksmith. Maybe I can sell stuff here? It's down here. Hmm. Oh, I can. Oops. Oh, I can buy stuff and sell. I don't think I need the canvas. Maybe I do. I don't know. I really hate to sell anything that I don't need. Uh, they don't have anything but potions and... Alright, so... Um... Yeah, we need to buy that. And this is, um... That... Just because we need it. For our peoples. Did that help him at all? See, it, it, I don't know. I'm not getting it. Maybe it's stuff that can only be done in battle. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what it is. 
Anyway, okay, so we're out of there. This is um, blacksmith. All right, so let me see if we can do something better. Hmm. Work tools. He doesn't really have anything, but I don't think he can use that. Oh, he can use this. For 151, whoa. More range, defense. He needs it, he needs it. Can he wear that other one? No. How about him? Do anything here for him, for me, for her? No. Wasn't that much there, but one. Okay. Hmm. I am listening. Merchant Jerome, whatever. Bid thee good day, traveler. I see you have been on the road for a long time. Do you have any rare goods for Winfield Market? We can exchange if you like. Alas, I am only carrying some skin to Winfield. The skin is my own, and I need to move with haste to save it. Well, judging by your appearance, I wouldn't say it's worth too much. Oh, goodness, really. <laughs> okay. Now maybe we can find something that they can use. All right, so, which is better? Of course, it's going to be the 148. I, I just can't. I've got to get them better equipped. That's the whole thing. Archer, that's 40. And, and rabbit foot, 1% uh, melee defense, 1%. I thought I had a rabbit foot. One of them had it anyway. He does. Um, this is 1% willpower. Oh, this is increases the health. Yeah, that's probably something to give to him. Okay. Four and three. And this is three. I thought he had... So I bought one that I didn't need or what? It looks like I did. Whatever. Sometimes you just never know. Um... That's something he could use. I hate using up all my money, but I've got no choice in the matter. Okay. All right. And I hate using it right off the bat, but it, it just won't let him use it. I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe because he can't. I don't know. Yeah, it won't let him use them. That's just odd. Oh, it did. It did. Okay. Alright. So, that's the fairy man. Anything up here I need to look at? Well, there is something up here. It's another village. Heal all for 12. Might as well. No, I think they'll do it on their own now. They don't have anything, just. Nope. I'm going to buy these just because they're nice to have. I'm down to 55 coins. Alright. 
Oh, I'm probably going to need money to use the ferry. <laughs> I never thought about that. Okay. Here's the ferry. Hmm. Hmm, there's gossip here. Heal. Gossip. And hire. Oh, man. But these are mercenaries. I don't want mercenaries. Alright. What kind of gossip? Oh, golden serpent. These are a whole bunch of new ones here. Um... Do you remember Wilbat from Little Pit Village? The one who went with Enzo to find precious stones and didn't come back? He swore on his mother's grave that he saw the golden serpent in the mountains. It can't be, as that's only a legend. Why not? Wilbat wasn't known to tell idle lies. They did find gold in those mountains, didn't they? And before any gold vein opens, the golden serpent always appears. What is it? What is the serpent anyways? It's a king that resides under the earth. He owns all the gold in the land. He has the head of a man, a deep red face and black eyes. On his head there is a crown of precious stones, and the crown has every stone of existence in the world. The, his gray red beard is seven feet long. Wow, okay. And beneath the beard is a great serpent body, as thick as a pine and covered in golden scales. The golden serpent lives deep within the earth, and when he rises to the surface, gold follows him. But any mortal who sees him does not remain long upon the earth. One went into the mountains and never returned. Another found a golden nugget and was killed by bandits. A third man got rich and drank himself to death. And about such men, people say the golden serpent took him under the earth. Hmm. Well, okay, what's that special wine secret? Maybe we didn't know that one. Hey, innkeeper, bring us some good wine like what Hans serves back south. Where would I get it? Hans's neighbor, Adam, is supplying the wine to him, and no one except Adam can make such a wine, the lucky bastard. No one in the region? In Winewell, in Winewell Village, they have a great vineyard. Can't those wine winemakers get the secret from him? He wouldn't tell anyone, even under torture. Only a fool would abandon such a commodity. Recently, one fool, Rummel, from, white, from Winewell, decided to try and steal the secret. He came to Adam's manor bearing gifts of all manner, trying to convince Adam he wished to win the hand of his daughter. Rumal paced about the manor, questioning the household about the wine. So one morning, Adam asked his wife whether she had milked his prized bull calf, to which she replied only if we would milk the bull is at dawn, for only at noon is bull milk any good for good to is any good for winemaking. Bull milk, really? Hmm. Rummel said his goodbye and returned to Winewell. He took the bowl and tried to milk it. Oh, but what he held on to was not the udder of the bowl. Quite hard work, you see. But bowls don't have udders. <laughs> and his neighbor came by and saw Rummel and asked him what he was doing. And Rummel proudly told him how he learned the secret from Adam. The neighbor fell, down, fell from his feet laughing and told the whole village. Since then, Rummel was nicknamed Bowl Udder. Do you get it? An udder. Because, you know, they don't have udders. <laughs> uh, they don't. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, so about the mountain crystal. Enzo came by almost two weeks ago and showed me the stones he had found. They were impressive finds, to be sure, but one stone stood out from the rest. A piece of mountain crystal. It was translucent and iridescent, and as I held it, it burned cold in my hands like ice. How does such crystal grow in the mountains? Is this some dark magic? Well, some say it's grown by the devil. They say when a righteous man dies and is buried, the devil makes his way to the burial ground and rips the heart from the dead man's chest. But the heart of a righteous man is pure. Such a heart burns the devil's hands, and the fiend blows on it to cool it, and his breath is so powerful that the heart becomes like, like unto ice. A pure mountain crystal, but such does it burn the devil's hand that he drops it and leaves it. Well, I doubt we'll be seeing many more of those crystals then. I'd say righteousness seems to be thinning out of late. The devil will have darker hearts as he desires in these dark times. Dark times, eh? Like dark lands. Why do I try with you people? <laughs> okay, merchant German. 
German, the merchant, is very kind, but we were not born yesterday. We all smarted him, that fat trickster. That's hard to believe. How did you all smart him? He was buying all sorts of stones, mostly mel melchetti, but also pirate or crystals, and everything for very little. He figured no one else would come here, and we won't be able to get the precious stones to Kamina to sell them to anyone else. But we noticed he is not buying stones one by one, so he probably doesn't sell them one by one either. It looks like he has an agreement with some carvers from Karima to bring them specific amounts of stones on time. And if he cannot, he will lose their respect and they won't deal with them. They will find someone else. So what? And now, having already bought the greatest part, he desperately needs the rest. And he asks for the remainder, not merely three times more, but ten. Wow. Well... Where can Jerome go now? He will have to pay. So we will get back the money we lost by selling them stones at a much higher price. Hmm, I feel it's not that simple. Jerome mustn't, won't be outsmarted so easily. He will come up with something, but with what? He'll, hell knows. Just think, to the south, ooh, Unthurper closed the outpost. He doesn't want anyone from Landstein sneaking in here. It means there is only one way from this bank to the other side of the lake and best the ferryman's boat needs repair and he is already three days dealing with it so you won't sell goods to anyone but Jer Jeremy. ha all we need to do is wait until first repairs his boat sure if he repairs it it seems to me something fishy is going on here by the lake in the water like a pun you see <laughs> he, poor guy he keeps trying <laughs> all right Drowned treasure. Did we get that one? Um, Lampart, that brigand. Who here remembers him? Don't mention his name. It will only bring us ill fortune. Then we will be happy to. Then you will be happy to hear he will not be robbing travelers anytime soon. A group of miners was waiting for first the ferryman. Their carts laden with gold. Lampart fell upon them and slew them all for the precious ore. But his band and had but his band had few boats and not very well built at all. Nothing like the ferryman's craft. They loaded the oar upon their boats and set off across the lake. When they were halfway across, their boats began to sink. Water spilled from the sides into the vessels. They were foolish and, and chose not to abandon the gold, so they filled their pockets and purses with with it and made for the shore. The villagers spotted Lampart soon enough and saw that only a few of his men were with him. Lampart and his men were brought to the village and hung for their crimes. They said that Lampard had been on the north bank, hiding his loot beneath the rock, but no one could point out the treasurer's, the treasurer's location. We searched with the local fishermen, but found no gold. Hmm. And what's this? Unthurper's treasure. It seems, it seems unrest has arisen in Unthurper's lands. Some knights have grown tired of idleness and have made use of this uncertain time. They have been robbing convoys and the such storing the goods well away from the castles to avoid suspicion. You have been talking about this for some time, and you say you know where the this place is? How? Oops. My cousin, is, my cousin is a horseman in service to one of the knights. Okay. There is only one trail to the hollow, and it is to this hollow, and it is visible only from the castle. It seems that only those living in the castle know of it. What if someone stumbles over these stolen goods? Surely it would be a poor hiding place. And who will check there? I am telling you, it lies in the shadow of the castle, and whoever dares take that trail will be seen, and the castle itself lies beyond another outpost. Try getting there without being spotted by the knights. It is a fool's errand. Hmm. Alpine gold. Everything to do with money. Well, fellows, we will get rich soon. Gold has been found in the east, and golden rivers will not flow into us. Oh, I think I read this one for himself. Yeah, okay. So we already know that one, too. Cool. So we got a lot of different stuff to talk to about. Okay, so... Um, so we got a lot of notes now. We already did that one. A new friend. How many has told you that you are an honored guest? Well, but, you know, we, um, yeah, we're not a friend there now. You heard his story about Lampard's robbers. Robber who died. You heard that nice from Legend of St. Landry. 
Feline mirror. Okay. So the one quest we have is still to get to Winfield. But we need to get on the ferry. Hmm. Where was, um... Because we got stones, right? Um, Johnson's... Where was the merchant? Um, blacksmith marketplace. Where did we see Johnson the merchant? Was it here? No. Where did we see the merchant? Is it here? No. Nope. That's just a place to heal. Hmm. Because we got stones to sell to him. I hope maybe I gotta talk to the fairy guy first. Hey, fairy man, cast off, make haste. I need to get to the opposite bank as soon as possible. I cannot, lady. My vessel was broken, and I am fixing it. Well, it's not surprising that I... Well, it's not surprising that I'm blocked once more. The very heavens conspired to stop me at every possible opportunity. Can you fix it any faster? Lady, if I am not careful, you won't get across. But if you are in such a hurry to sink, I suggest jumping in right now. So if that doesn't work for you, don't bother me. Darn this old fool. I tried to find... I need to find another way to get to the opposite bank. All right. He won't let me talk to him now. And who is this? Merchant. Oh, there's Merchant. Oh, yeah. Hey, Traveler, I saw you talking to the ferryman. Do you need to reach the other bank? Yeah, I do. Yes, and as soon as possible. Then we have something to talk about. You see, I am Jeremin, a merchant from Fitchum. I visit Erzgan Erzglans, intending to buy ore and gems from the local miners. Usually they sell their goods at a reasonable price, which, which, let's face it, is quite cheap. But this time they want me to pay in gold for their gems. I am not satisfied with their conditions, and no matter how long I bargain with them, they insist. What should I do? So I pay the ferryman to break his boat, which should have forced the miners to sell their goods to me. Really? But they are as stubborn and as stupid as rams. I am waiting for them to agree on my price, but I am losing time. I would take away everything from them by force as I brought with me a good squad of guards, but I don't want to upset Sir Hohenkuyper or Sir Unterfuhr or whatever. But you, you are a stranger here and it doesn't matter for you. Get the things I want and as soon as I receive them, the ferryman will fix his boat at once. Do you agree? Um... Well, that is unfair for you to do that. I'm sorry, that's... Why would I side on you? Why would I take your side on this? You had the ferryman break his boat on purpose so you could che pay him cheaper? <sighs> no. No, no. I'm going to force you. Sorry. I am under the protection of the Bittens. Be on your way and return with... To return the goods to me before I order my guards to kill you. Oh, really? Hmm. Got a healer woman back there. And... Let's put this on him. Oh, that does help. Ah. I need to get rid of her. Okay. Who is the most damaged? 
Oh, you can't heal anybody? Ah. Oh, I should take the other one down, dummy. Yes. Hmm. I can only do these because they're in my face. Oh, damn it. Damn it, Jim! I'm done. Okay, reload. Okay. I could have swore I saved. Hmm, I know I did. I know I did. Okay, once again, I'm going to have to redo all this again because for some reason, it I know I saved. I know I did. I was seeing it saving and it was telling me I didn't save, so. Hmm. I don't know. I But there's auto saves on here, though, too. Let me see where that went. Okay, so that auto saved helped. All right. Um... So I am going to go ahead and it's 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. We got to figure out. Um, I probably have to go through some of this again because I don't remember where I'm at now. I know I haven't talked to the ferryman yet. And um, yeah, I need to hire some more people. But I just don't have the money. Okay, I, I think I know where I'm at now. So anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Sahara out.